Hi, for today's video I'm going to do my beauty, storage and collection. It's mainly about the storage, how I store my daily makeup, the bulk of my makeup, my skincare and my hair care and also my nails. But I'm going to show you some products as I go through as well. So I really hope you enjoy it and thanks so much for watching. I store all my nail polish on the back of my office store and this I bought from the container store in America. Annoyingly I haven't found anything similar in the UK but it's perfect. It hangs on the back of the door, it's meant for shoes and it has these clear pockets, it has 24 pockets. So I put all my nail polish in and I do it by colour rather than finish because that's just what I prefer. But on the top line I have base coats, top coats, nail care, cuticle care, uh, nail files, nail polish remover, things like that. And then I go from dark to light, so I've got my blacks, my dark greens, my dark blues, and then dark purple, dark reds. And then it goes on to true reds and orangey reds, and then coral, and then peach. And then carrying on, it goes on to pinks, and then on to light pinks, then blue, and then greeny mint blue, and then more greens, and then lilacs, and nude coloured beiges, um, browns and then taupes and then it's kind of a mix of gold and shimmers, yellows and then a few glitter polishes that I didn't really know where else to put. Some of my favourites include the Sesfriet top coat which I can't be without, I absolutely love it, it's so fast drying and the Sally Hansen gel cuticle remover is really good as well and really easy to use so I really like that. The Clinique Happy Heart nail polish is a really lovely bright coral and I also really like the Barry M Jelly in Papaya, which I've been wearing a lot recently. And then I also got the Butter London Fiver, which is a nice mint green, which is perfect for spring. So now onto my bedroom, and this is where I keep my daily makeup that I use sort of every day. And this container is from Muji. I got the two drawers, and then the one on top is separate, um, but they're all the wide fit. On the side, I keep my hand sanitizer from Soap and Glory and also the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And then I have my Clarins Fix Makeup Spray and an Urban Decay Setting Spray as well. So I just keep those there on the side in case I need them. On top of the storage, I keep the foundations that I'm using at the moment. So I'm trying out the Bourjois Healthy Mix. I'm also trying out Shiseido Foundation and then the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I actually really like. In the top section here, I keep any products that are new that I want to try out or products that I want to use up because um, they're just there on display for me to use. So I've got the Dr. Lewin's Primer, which I am loving at the moment. I'm sure I'll talk about that soon. The Stila Convertible Cheek Cream Cheek Blusher and the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting um, Powder, which I really like as well. I've also got a YSL Lip Stain, which is a beautiful colour. And I'm trying to use up my Origins Mascara, so I've got that in there as well. Then in the second drawer I've got some more kind of daily essentials um, like my Bobbi Brown Corrector which I use every single day, I've actually got two in there because I just bought a new one and also my Blink Clear Brow Gel which I use every single day. It just means they're easier to grab if they're right there. I've also got my Laura Mercier Primer, tiny bit left in that pot and then in the third drawer just a few more bits like the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer which I really like and a couple of brown eyeliners like my Pixie and Makeup Forever one and also my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which is an essential for those days where you need a bit of powder. In the middle I keep my MAC palette, because those are the shadows I tend to use every day, they're just really easy, so I keep that there. And I keep my brushes, sorry they're so dirty, but I keep them in these old diptyque candle um, pots. So when I finish my candles I just kind of keep them, because they're really pretty to use I think. And then on the left here I keep my watch overnight in my little anthropology bowl. I have a couple kabuki brushes from Erin and Japanesque and my Fito 9 for my hair and a Dr. Hashka hand cream and then this flower pot is from Ikea where I keep the rest of my brushes that I don't use every day but I still want to have them out. So this is my Ikea Alex where I keep the rest of my makeup. Um, I know it looks huge but it's so good and the drawers open so smoothly, I just love it. There is a smaller one as well which is like half the size. So on the top I keep my perfumes, um, I have a lot of perfumes, I love perfume, but um, a couple of my favourites are the Centric Molecules Molecule 1, the Jo Malone Wild Fig and Cassis, and also the Diptyque one, which I can't really pronounce, and the Stella Summer Perfume, which I really like at the moment. So in the top drawer is where I keep all my lip products, 
And in here I have an acrylic Muji um, divider, which I would not recommend. I'll tell you which one I recommend. I just had this, so I'm using it. On the left I have all my lip butters. In the middle I have my drugstore lipsticks. On the right I have my high-end designer lipsticks. Then I have my MAC lipstick. Uh, lip lacquers in the middle. Lip crayons on the left, like chubby sticks. Lip glosses. And then my Clarins lip perfectors on the left. And some more kind of lip crayons at the back there. I've also got some more high-end lipsticks on the right, like my Dior one, because they kind of just fit in well there on the side. So in the second drawer is where I keep all my eye products, and this is where I use the Muji Desk Dividers, which are kind of plastic, and I got this size for the eye drawer because they're perfect for the little cream eyeshadows. Um, there's some other ones I found that are really good as well. So I got a few of those shape, and then a couple of the long ones as well to go down the side. Um, so in here I mainly keep, like, cream eyeshadows, I've got my Maybelline ones, MAC paint pots, I've also got a couple of eyeshadow palettes, a NARS one, a Clarins, some eye crayons like the Clinique ones, and a Rimmel Scandalize as well. And I also keep mascaras in here, um, not the ones I use every day, but the other ones that I own. And I've got some Bobbi Brown single eyeshadows and like a glitter eyeshadow. And I've also got my Benefit Creaseless Cream shadows, the front little mini ones. In the third drawer is where I keep my foundations and base. So in here I've used Muji desk dividers. I've got three in this size. Um, so this is what I use for all the drawers, the rest of the drawers. And you can take out the dividers as well and change the shape of them. So I've got three of those going back and then two of the long ones. And that's what I found fits best in the IKEA Alex. So I've got tinted moisturisers, um, primers, foundations, BB creams, more tinted moisturisers, a few concealers. Um, I've got some mini tinted moisturisers and BB creams as well and compact foundations and then a couple of liquid highlighters as well. In the next drawer is where I keep blushes, my favourite. So I've got some from Tarte, I've got some MAC blushes, I've got um, like an Illamasqua blusher, MAC Stereo Rose, a couple of smaller Wild About Beauty blushes, my favourite cream blushes at the moment in the middle. And then I've got some palettes, I've got an Illamasqua blush palette and this is where I keep my cream blushes mainly, I've got a Revlon one and this is where I keep my powder highlighters, there's a Topshop one, Dior, I love powder highlighters so I've got quite a few and then this is where I keep my Becca Beach tints and things that don't really fit at the back. The next drawer is my eyeshadow palettes, so I've got the Urban Decay Naked 1 and Naked 2 which I love them both, I've got the powerful, Oz the Grain Powerful palettes and a Zoeva neutral palette, a couple of Urban Decay palettes, um, a couple of Erin palettes as well, I really like Erin, it's a brand, and my empty um, MAC palettes there as well, my quads for when I'm travelling. And then the next drawer is just a messy drawer full of kind of dupes, not dupes, like backups and extras, so I've got like Hydroluron backup and a YSL in a different shade. And then the rest of the drawers are empty really, I'm kind of in the process of moving things into them. Now onto my bathroom. Um, I wouldn't recommend this drawer, it's from Ikea. I think the drawers are too deep. I'm not going to show you inside because they're so messy. On top is where I keep my hair essentials in this John Lewis basket. I have my Unite Detangler, my Fito 7, my Charles Worthington mask, and also on the side I've got Origins body moisturiser and my Dr. Bronner shampoo for washing my makeup brushes. In my mirrored cupboard is where I keep my daily skincare, things that I'm trying out, things that I use every day. So, for example, I've got my Bioderma, I've got my Clarins Extra Firming Neck Cream, this Kiehl's Skin Rescuer that I'm trying at the moment, um, Peptobrine Hydroluron that I use every morning, and I've also got the Kiehl's um, Midnight Recovery for Eyes and the Pixi Glow Tonic that I'm using as a toner that I really like. And then this is quite boring, but by my sink I keep my And Other Stories Fig Hand Wash, as well as my Rituals hand scrub and hand balm that I use every other night and I really like these. So this container is from Muji and this is where I keep all my skincare. Um, it's really handy, it just kind of fits in the corner of my bathroom. On the top I keep my Kath Kidson towel and my cotton pads. I keep in this jar that I got as a gift, sorry, so I don't know where it's from. Um, in the top drawer I keep my eye creams, any spare eye creams and muslin cloths as well. I have Emma Hardy cloths and I also have 
Sarah Chapman mitts that I keep at the back. Then in the second drawer is where I keep my cleansers. At the front I keep balm cleansers like an Enemus one I'm trying at the moment and really like. I've got an Antipodes butter cleanser there and the Emma Hardy cleansing balm of course which I love. I've also got the Clarins melting cleansing balm. I've then got exfoliators. I've got this works one. I've got the Kiehl's pineapple and papaya scrub and an origin scrub and this is where I also keep my oil cleansers like my nude cleansing oil that's my favourite I really like that one and then in the next drawer down is where I keep all my face masks I'm a face mask junkie at the front I have my hydrating ones and then I've got the sort of enzyme peel masks and then I've got the mud and the charcoal masks at the back and then there's a few toners there as well like a cordially and a nude toner as well and then in the bottom drawer is where I keep kind of bits that don't fit anywhere else. Um, this works. Cleansing water, some sheet masks at the back and some oils as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.